aquí, pero... Goodbye, goodbye, great green. Goodbye, goodbye, great green. Mucho honra, Juan Manuel, regalo de lo más guapo que Good evening, everyone. Welcome to the class. Hello there. Hi, Rosie. Hello, Mario. Nehemias. Rafa. Hi, teacher. Hello. How are you? Hoy está en otro puesto, Nehemias. In a different place. No. no the same place. No, no, no. The same um, place. It looks different. It looks different. Uh, ah, maybe that. Solo that's que más, so al, más centrado. Ajá. Ah, okay, that is what it's different. Hello, Rafa. Welcome. Hello, Hello Lina. Hello, teacher. Thank you. Welcome to the class. I hope you're doing well. Mario, what about you? How are you doing? Mario is not there yet, I guess. Zulma, and you? Are you there? Yes. Uh, guys, I will I will take the attendance. I'm going to take the attendance right now and then we will continue. Okay, let me see. Daisy Yesenia. Doris de Castaneda. Iris Joana. Jose Mario. Present. Okay, thank you. Katia Gabriela. Present. Lisette del Carmen. Maricela del Carmen. Present. Okay. Mauricio Casaneda. Minet Rivera. Nehemías Regalo. Present. Okay, thank you. Then Nelson Alberto. Present. Okay, Nelson René. Rafael Antonio. Present. René Guardado. René. Present. Okay, thank you. Rina Espinosa. Rosy Meléndez. Present. Thank you, Vladimir Rodas, Yanira Cepeda, and Zulma López. 
Do you hear me, Wilma? You do. Okay, good. And you guys, can you hear me well? Si me escuchan bien todos. Yes. Okay, I just wanted to. Okay, so we will start with an activity to practice have to a little bit. It is, it's called find someone who, and then we have to ask a question. We have to find someone who has to get up early tomorrow, uh, someone who has to do a homework, well, a homework assignment after class, and it's similar to the activity we did last time. Se parece bastante a la que hicimos la vez pasada con do. Pero ahora vamos a hacer la pregunta con have to. What we study yesterday. Okay. Now, René, can you start? Can you elaborate the first question and look for someone who has to get up early tomorrow? All right. Um... Just remember to structure the idea because it's not in the form of a question. You have to make it a question. Let me see. Mm -hmm. Okay, Rafael, do you have to get up early tomorrow morning? Mm -hmm. Oh, just activate the, the microphone, Rafael. Yes, I get up uh, early tomorrow. Uh -huh. Okay, in this activity, I, I that need... I, uh, sorry, Rafa, that I interrupted. <laughs> in this case, you have to ask an extra question, one more question. If he answers yes, he says yes, what could you ask about that, Remy? What could you okay, so need to ask another question an additional uh, one besides the, the first one mm -hmm. okay. related to the first one like why uh, what time something that you can connect oh to. are related to the same question mm -hmm. not necessarily the ones that you have there okay okay no 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 so, the first one it's okay but he said yes right now can you ask something else about that Okay, so what time do you need to wake up? Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Or what time do you wake up? Mm -hmm. At 5 a.m. A.m. Correct, yes. 5 in the morning. Okay, thank you, Rene. And now, Rafa, it's your turn. Elaborate. Sentence number two, make it a question. Um, vamos a ver. Maricela. Mm -hmm. Who has to do homework after class? Mm, it has to be do you? Do you have to do homework? Do you, do you have do you have to do homework after class? Mm -hmm. Maricela? Um no I don't. No, I no I don't ever. Uh -huh. No, I don't. Okay, thank you, Maricela. Okay. Sorry, you have to continue, Rafa. Continue looking for someone who has to do homework. Tienes que seguir, Rafa, hasta que encuentres a alguien. Okay. Um, teacher, uh, give me one number. One. Uh, <laughs> Jose Mario. <laughs> Okay. Do you homework after class? Do you have do, to? Do you have to do homework after class? Mm -hmm. 
Are you there, Mario? Ma ah, okay. Uh -huh. I don't. No. Okay. Continue, Rafa. Okay. He said no. <laughs> um, uh, Lisette. Lisette is not available. You... Somebody else. No. Okay. Maricela. Maricela, you already asked. Oh. Le acaba de preguntar. Cierto, cierto, um, cierto. You have Nehemias, okay. Katia, uh, um, Rina. Rosy. Rosy, no está, no. okay. Rosy, yes. Yes, she's here. Okay, Rosy, do you have to do homework after class? Um, no. No. Okay, one, one, okay. one more, Rafa. Okay. Puedo cambiar porque no, no creo que hay. Vamos a ver. Okay. Nehemías, do you have to do homework after class? Uh, just remember to say have to. Have to. Do you have do you to? Have, do you have to? Do you have to do homework after class? No, I don't. I okay. go to sleep. Okay. So, <laughs> is there anybody? I alguien? Is there anybody who has to do homework? No, no one, Rafa. Okay, but thank you, Rafa. So this one okay. we will leave it in blank. We didn't find anybody. Nehemias, can you continue? Question number three. Uh, Katia, do you have to buy something expensive next week? Mm -hmm. No, I don't. Jani, uh, do you have to buy something expensive next week? Mm -hmm. No. No, I don't know. No, I don't. Uh -huh. Nelson, do you have to buy some something expensive next week? Nelson, René? Okay. Uh, no, I do not. Mm -hmm. Continue. Mm -hmm. Nelson, Alberto, do you have to buy something expensive next week? No, I not. One, one more. Um, yes, one more person. Okay. Uh, Tulma, do you have to buy something expensive next week? No, I don't. <laughs> okay, is there anybody? who has to buy something expensive in the class? Anyone who has to buy something next week? Expensive? Uh, Rafa I, or sure. René? Rafa yes. and René, you I, too. <laughs> okay, I, what do you have to buy, Rafa? What do you have to buy? Um, no sé cómo se dice. What is it? Disco. CD? No. Eh, no. But you need, no. Unidad de estado sólido se llama. Mm. Esa cosita. Es la. la es un disco computer. duro. It's a yes. SSD. Yes. Uh -huh. Ah, ok. All right. All right. Ok, thank you, René. So we will add here. Then Rafa, uh, Rafa and René. But let's continue with you, Katia. Thank you, Nehemias. Continue with question number four, Katia. Mm. Jose Mario. Do you have to cook every day? Yes, I do. Mm, okay. An extra question, Katia. 
Una pregunta adicional sobre um, eso. Do you have to cook for someone else? else? Mm -hmm. Mario, do you have to cook for somebody else? Someone else? Other people. Someone else? ¿Qué, qué es? Other people. Otras personas. Alguien más. Repeat, please. Uh, Katia. Okay. Do you have to cook for someone else? Si tienes que cocinar para alguien más. That's the question, Mario. Oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> no problem. So, no, I... No, okay. Thank you, Katia. Now, Mario, it's your turn. You have to find someone who takes the bus home after, before class, before class, because you are in your house in this moment. So I will change it. Okay. Mario, can you hear me? Mario? Um. Mm -hmm. Nelson Alberto. Mm -hmm. Do you have to take a bus home before class? Have to. No, I, no, I don't. Mm -hmm. I don't take bus. Mm -hmm. Correct, Alberto. Continue, Mario. You also have Yanni, Rina, Kene. Rina, do, do you have to take a bus home before class? I don't know. No, you don't. No. Okay. Don't. Thank you, Rina. Continue, Mario. See if you find someone. Um, Nehemiah, mm regalo. -hmm. I remember he walks, but you can ask him. Do you have to take a bus home before class? No, I don't. Mm -hmm. I walk. <laughs> mm -hmm. Okay, so let's help Mario. Is there someone who has to take the bus? Katia, you have to. Yes, I do. Katia, uh huh. Just Katia. You're the only one, Katia. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. Okay, one, one last question. Can you continue, Alberto? Help us with number, well, the next one. We will ask Katia here. That one is easy, I, I think. Rina? Rina, do you, do you have to go to work tomorrow? Rina? Can you repeat, Alberto, please? Rina, do you do you have to go to work to work tomorrow? Yes. I have to work. Okay. Can you ask an additional question, Alberto? One additional question for Rina. It's okay. La última. Una pregunta adicional. 
Ella dice que sí tiene que trabajar. ¿Qué pregunta extra le podría hacer en inglés? Do you get up? Do you get up super early tomorrow morning? Okay. I I work. Um, I day. Uh, I day all todo el día. Aha. And what time do you get up? Do you get up early, Rina? Uh, yes, early, 6, 6 uh -huh. a.m. You wake up at 6 a.m. Mm -hmm. Okay, thank you. Thank you, everyone. So let's, let's continue. I'm going to share the book so we can, we can um, discuss what we're going to study. Today is the, the last day of unit number two. Tomorrow, Thursday, we start unit number three, and we are going to talk about a new tense, not simple present anymore, a new tense. So it will be good. But today, the objective is the following one, that you will be able to use ordinal numbers and organize activities by date of event. We're going to study ordinal numbers and its use, and also how to organize events. Okay, we will start with this question. Question number one. Jani, are you there, Jani? Jani? Ah, okay. Jani, do Oi. you mark your events in your calendar? Do you mark your events in your calendar? Okay. Hey. Mark, imagine this, the calendar and you mark, like you mark the calendar. Do you mark your calendar, Yanni? Uh, like notes, notes in the calendar, like a celebration, a wedding, uh, uh, my celebration is the um, uh, November. Yes. November is uh, uh, the no sé. seventeen. Seventeen. Mm -hmm. ah. Seventeen. But the question is, marca su calendario, Yanni, con eventos? Do you mark sí. events? Ah, eh, yeah. My celebrity, my celebrity is my eh, cumpleaños? Birthday. Mm -hmm. Ajá, so you, I, you my, do that. Mm -hmm. My okay. celebrity... 16 November. November 16. Okay, mm -hmm. nice. Uh -huh. I use my, my cell phone, but it's good that you still use the calendar. Thank you, Jenny. Rosie, what about you? Do you mark your events in your calendar? Yes, teacher. You do. And do you use the phone calendar? or uh, paper, paper and, calendar. And my phone. Aha, uh -huh, on the phone. Okay, thank you, Rosy. Let's continue with Maricela. What about you? Do you mark your calendar? Uh, sometimes, algunas veces. Sometimes, why? Why sometimes? Um, for example, la compra del gas. Mm -hmm. You have the, um, the reminder. Uh -huh. um, en alguna cita médica alguna vez se marca ahí. Medical appointments. O, o algún, 
rara vez el los cumpleaños, siempre nos olvidan. Ajá, ajá, and birthdays. Ok, so those are the most common events that we, we mark. Question number two. René, do you attend your events? Um, usually I do. <laughs> uh, but sometimes, uh, even though I have a reminder, it's, it's like uh, the day that you need to attend to the event. It's like, okay, I need to go, but I don't want it. I don't know. You but usually, yeah, that's right. But, but most of the events, pretty much are related about birthday. So it's something that you, you should go um, because it's just uh, for friends or, or family. So in that case, mm -hmm. uh, you know that you need to be there. So, so on mm -hmm. the end, yeah, I attend. Yeah, but it's other kind things of an obligation. Like, like, it's kind of an obligation, that's right. But you know, you, you know that it's something that on the end, you're going to enjoy it. But mm -hmm. pretty much, um, that's the only event that I remind that I have reminded. Being really honest. Uh -huh, okay. Sometimes you don't feel like going, but you end up going because you have like yeah, a motivation, okay. right? It is important. Yeah. And I have to be there, so so you end up going. Mm -hmm. Correct. Okay. Thank you, Jenny. And you, Alberto, sure. do you attend? Your events? Uh, generally. Because, generally. Uh, mm -hmm. generally, because I don't have every time. Only, only um, I attend my event uh, because the bridge day of my son, my wife, my mom is on. It's only important, important, important events. Those yes. are the ones you go to. Mostly birthdays, right? Only, only birthday, birthday. Um, I celebrate. I celebrate my birthday uh, together with my mom. Oh, and okay. the, and the, and the same and the same mom. The same mom. Ah, okay. So you do it together. That's nice. Yeah. It's a good idea. Okay. Thank you. And one last question. Vladimir, what about you? Do you usually go to a lot of social events? Yes. You do? How often? Yes, I do. Um, birthday. Um, uh, Anniversaries? Ah. Uh -huh. uh, there is uh, um, uh, 23 um, September. I go to the celebration and marry my sister. Uh, like an anniversary? No. No. Se va a casar. Ah, wedding. You're going to your sister's wedding. On yes. September 23rd. Okay, in about three weeks. That's very yes. soon. Okay, Vladimir, thank you for the, the comment. We will continue here with the conversation. I'm going to read it first and then it's gonna be your turn. So we have Susan and Adele. Adele, please check my agenda. When is the meeting with the consultant? On Monday. November 22nd. What about the conference with the Mexican representatives? It's on Friday the 26th. That's it. So we will start with Zulma. Zulma and let me see here the list. Zulma and Mario. Okay, ready? Zulma, you are Susan. And Mario, you are Adele. Okay, teacher. Adele, please check my IN when is in the meeting with the 
consultant. On Monday, November 22, 22nd. Mm -hmm. What about the conference with the Mexican representatives? It's on Friday, the 23rd. Mm -hmm. Okay, thank you, Mario and, and Sulma. This one is pronounced representatives or representatives. You can say it like that. Okay, so that is the, the pronunciation of this word, representatives. Okay, let's continue with Minette. Are you there, Minette? Minette? No? Okay, Nelson. Nelson and Vladimir, please. Nelson, you are Susan, yes. and Vladimir, you are Adele. Hi. Oh, hi, Minet. I didn't know you were hi. there. We will listen to Nelson and Vladimir, and then it will be your turn. Okay. Adele, please check my agent. When agent. is the agent? When is the meeting? with the consultant. Um, on Monday, November, November is 22. Second. Second. What about the conference with the Mexican representative? Uh, it's on Friday, the 26. Uh-huh. Yes. Okay. Thank you, Vladimir. Thank you, Nelson. This one here is consultant. That's the, the way you can say it. Consultant. Consultant. Yes. Mm -hmm. okay. That's good. Thank okay. Thank you, Nelson. Now, Minette. Okay. Minette, can you continue? You are Susan. And Maricela, okay. you are Adele. Okay. Adele. Please check my uh, agenda. 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 We need a meeting with a consult. On Monday, November 22, 22nd. 22nd. What about the conference with the Mexican? Representative. Representatives. It on front and 20, 20, 26. 26. 26. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay, thank you. Thank you. So just remember this one minute is agenda. And the one here, consultant. Okay. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Nehemias and Rina. Nehemias, you'll be Susan, and Rina, Adele. Okay. Adele, please check my agenda when is the meeting with the consultant? On Monday, November 22nd. What about the conference with the Mexican representative? It's, it's on Friday the 25th. Mm -hmm. Okay, very good. Thank you, guys. Jani and Rosy. Jani, you are Susan. Rosy, Adele. Okay. Jani, can you start? Yes, Susan. Uh, uh -huh. Adele, please check my agenda. 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 Mm -hmm. With in the meeting mm -hmm. why the consult consultant consultant on Monday November twenty second. Uh, what about the company? Well, the Mexican representant representatives representant. It's on Friday the twenty sixth. Mm -hmm. 
Okay, thank you. Jani, repeat after me. Representatives. Okay. Representative. Representatives. Representatives. Represent representative. Uh -huh. Representatives. Mm -hmm. Okay, thank okay. you. Let's continue with Katia and Rafa. Katia, you are Susan. Rafa, Adele. Go ahead. Okay. Adele, please check my agenda. When is the meeting with the consultant? On Monday, November 22nd. What about the conference with the Mexican representatives? It's on Friday, the 26th. Mm -hmm. Okay, thank you. Good pronunciation. Alberto, have you have you practiced your pronunciation, Alberto? ¿Verdad que no ha leído? No. Okay, so Alberto and René. Alberto, you are this. Susan and René, Adele. You can go ahead. I will please check my agenda when is the meeting with the consultant. On Monday, November 22nd. What about the conference with the Mexican representatives? It's on Friday the 26th. Okay, very good. Very good job. Thank you. Do you have questions about the vocabulary? Are there questions? No. No questions, guys. Tengo una. Yes, Kat. In la in última frase, is on Friday the 26th. Mm -hmm. ¿Por qué? ¿Por qué the, the 26th? Mm, very good question. I'm going to teach you that in about five or 10 minutes. We are going to study that, Katia. Just, just okay. wait a second, okay? Wait a moment. Vamos a ver eso en un poquito de tiempo. So I will tell you later. <laughs> okay, so in that case, we have some questions. Two questions. Number one, let's start with Nelson. When is Susan's meeting Nelson when is Susan's meeting mm -hmm. Susan <laughs> One was mm -hmm. and then about on Monday. Mm -hmm. On Monday, November twenty second. There you go. Mm -hmm. Correct, Nelson. Thank you. That's the the meeting date. Okay, question number two. Rina, do you think Susan has a busy agenda? Why? What do you think, Rina? Do you think Susan has a busy agenda? Are you there, Rina? No, maybe she's not there. And you, Nehemias, what do you think? No, only, Why? only two activities in one week. Mm -hmm. That is a good way to put it. Okay, Nehemias, thank you. And let's check Katia. Do you agree with Nehemias? Or do you have a different opinion? Mm, agree. <laughs> you agree with him. <laughs> okay, so 
<laughs> Maybe I will say that it's true if we think about it with that point of view, only two activities. Mm -hmm. Maybe she doesn't have too many things to do. Okay, so the explanation, Katia's question. We're going to, to study how to use cardinal numbers. When we talk about cardinal numbers, we are not talking about one, two, three, four, five, no. We're talking about first, second, third, fourth. Those are cardinal numbers. I need you to check a video. Necesito que vean un video, por favor. And this video is going to help you. Ponen ahí finish cuando yo ya lo hayan terminado. Dura como six minutes. Okay, please watch the video. Me conectó y se me perdió el link del video. Ah, ok. Ahí va otra vez. Gracias. Uh -huh.
Okay, so can you please um, activate the cameras again? Okay, here, I hope the video helped you. Espero que les haya, haya ayudado el video. If not, you have the link. Si no, ahí les queda el link. If you want to watch it again. So we are studying uses of ordinal numbers. And here you have the use. When you need to use an ordinal number and not a cardinal number. Do you have questions about the video? Do you have any doubts about the video? Something you would like to ask that you didn't understand? Algo que no hayan entendido bien sobre el video que vieron? No, no questions. Okay, so let's practice. For example, when is your birthday, Rafa? When is your birthday? My, my birthday is in May. Uh, I see. <laughs> see, um, see, yeah, tenth. No, um, yeah, tenth. No, eighteenth. November eighteenth. May. May. May the eighteenth. Yes. Okay. Yes. All right. Thank you, Rafa. So that is why, for example, when you add the date. Today is September, September. You can say September 1st, first. or usually for dates, we say the first is something that we use with dates, Katia. Mm -hmm. So it's not September 1. No, we don't have to say September 1, September 2. You have to say September first and add the last two the last two uh, letters or you can say september you put number two and then the last two the last two letters of the ordinal number september second okay so we have to use this with dates así que cuando digan fechas Recuerden de utilizar estos, ¿verdad? Estos son los que utilizamos. And we also talk about order or sequence. First, you have to study. Second, you have to do your homework. And third, you have to send the homework. Okay? So that is the way we use this. Can you give me one example, please? One example using ordinal numbers, and it could be about sequence, celebrations, or anything. Podría ser en cualquiera de esas áreas, your example. Let me know when, Rene, ready? Um, now, in that case, we can, uh, well, for the example that you asked for, uh, um, like my bathroom is on the second floor. Correct. Mm -hmm. That's the way okay. you have to say it. Thank now, uh, I my birthday is on the 13th of February. You can say it that, but commonly it goes the other way around in English. You mentioned February. The uh -huh. February, blah, blah, metal. Uh -huh. <laughs> February, <laughs> yeah, it is February, February, blah, metal, uh -huh. metal. February 13th. Yes, that should be the way you should say it. And remember the TH sound. Aquí pueden aplicar lo del TH sound que les quería mencionar. February 13th. Mm -hmm. Que hay que hacer un sonido de TH. Al final, que eso es lo que usualmente llevan, ¿verdad? Seven y luego TH para modificarlo. Or like this. Ok. Or, um, okay. 
So when you say it, remember to make a TH sound at the end, guys, like seven, eight, 11, 19. So you have to make this TH sound. I guess it is a sonido de TH. On the 20th, the seven. Okay. Pero no sé si les quedó claro cómo se hacía ese sonido. Sí, sí, lo podemos hacer. Not yet. Okay. Well, uh, talking about the examples, going back to the examples. Yes, can you read your example, please? Okay. My birthday is on October 17th. Mm -hmm. My anniversary is on November 12th. Mm -hmm. Okay, thank you, Nemia. Just the only okay. change will be the preposition on when you are talking about specific dates. In, just if you mention the month, like in November, in October. Okay, thank you. Nelson, are you ready? Do you have one example? Uh, my my birthday is of this October. On uh, October. Is on October uh, fifteen. Fifteen. Yes. 15. Thank you, Nelson. Mm -hmm. okay. Katia. Um. Podría ser. Today is. First September. September the first. Just change the position of month and the date. Mm, preposition. Okay. Uh -huh. Preposition. I'm sorry, the month goes first. The month. Okay, uh -huh. sería today is and September first. Uh -huh. Correct. That would be the way you would say in, it. In Mm -hmm. Ahí no lleva in, no, ¿verdad? No, because in, it is specific. No. All right. oh, okay. In, if you say we are in September, but the date okay. on. Let's continue with Alberto. What is your example, Alberto? My birthday is, is on September, September uh, 20. 24th. 24th. Uh huh. Okay, thank you. Let's see, Vladimir. Ready? Uh, yes, my anniversary mm -hmm. is uh, year three. Uh, no. April 3. April 3rd. Yes. How many years? Third. How many years are you going um, to have next year? Um, five years. Five years. Okay, that's cool. Thank you, Vladimir. Rina, can you continue? Can you give us one example, Rina? My birthday is in July. Uh, you don't listen to me or to Rina? Rina. Ah, okay. Can you speak louder, Rina, please? Puede hablar un poquito más alto, Rina. Eh, quizás hay un fallo con su micrófono. My birthday is in July. Sí, se oye como a lo lejos, Rina. No sé por qué será, pero sí se oye bien lejos. But I, I heard. I heard. Thank you, Rina. Just use the preposition on. Eh, okay, Mario. Can you continue, Mario? What is your example? Okay. Uh, 
my birthday is January mm -hmm. 19. On January 19. Yes. Thank you, Mario. Maricela. Ready? Are you there, Maricela? Or maybe she's not there right now. And you, Daisy? Can you continue? Daisy? Hola. Uh -huh. Can you continue, Daisy, please? I am first in attendance. I am the first one mm -hmm. in the attendance list. Yes, that's a good idea. Thank okay. you, Daisy. Okay, Jani, what is your example, Jani? And then we listen to Sulma. Jani or Sulma, are you there? No? Okay, well, let's continue. I have here uh, a worksheet to practice what we are going to what we're studying. First part, you have to match the ordinal number with the correct word. Okay, you have it here. You have to look for the, the letters corresponding to, to the number. Part number two, you have to write in the letters. You have to write the number. Tienen que escribirlo. In, in letras. Okay, and then next part, you have to read this, but this is when we come back. If you want to, you can try there. And then when we come back, we will read those dates. Part number three, you have to, it says, find the mystery word after answering the questions. And it says, write the corresponding letter in the grid. It says, what is the second letter of the, anim of the word animal? Entonces, tienen que ir colocándolas. Okay, son pictures, así que no van a poder escribir sobre ellas. Así que pueden hacerlo a un lado or in your notebook. When you come back here, we will check it together. And then, como aquí van a ir sacando una letra, ¿verdad? Después de contestar las preguntas, luego vamos a ver what's the mystery word. ¿Qué letra o palabra, sorry, encuentran co contestando las preguntas? Do you have questions about the worksheet? No, we're clear. Okay, so let's assign. You're going to work in pairs this time, okay? So we will start with Trina. Trina, this time, please work with Katia. And then number two, we will have Alberto work with Vladimir. And then let's see, Daisy work with Zulma. Then we will have Mario and Rafa. Then Maricela. Please work with Rosie and Jani. Number three, I'm sorry, number six, we will have Nelson, Nehemias, and Rene. Okay. So please open the, the invitation. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. No, I cancel. I cancel the, the breakup room. I have to take the attendance. It's 9, 9 a.m., 9 p.m. Oh, I'm sorry. So that's why I, I brought you back. We will wait a moment for your classmates to come back in a few seconds and then I will let you go. Sorry. I thought I, I did it. 
Okay, let's see. They are be they will be here in like 10 seconds. <laughs> Sorry, everyone. I, I need to take the attendance because it's 9, 9 p.m. So I'm just going to do that and then I'll send you back. Okay, so we will start with Daisy Yesenia. Present. Thank you. Doris Castaneda. Iris Cañas. Jennifer Marcela. Jose Mario. Present. Thank you. Katia, Gabriela? Present. Okay, thank you. Lisette del Carmen. Maricela del Carmen. Mauricio Castaneda. Minet Rivera. Nehemías Regalo. Present. Okay, thank you. Maricela. Maricela del Carmen. Present. Thank you. Nelson Alberto and Nelson René. Present. René, René Guardado and Rafael Antonio. Present. Okay. Rina Espinosa, Rosy Melendez. Present. Present. Vladimir Rodas. Yanira Present. Yusef. Present. Okay. Ana Lorena. Present, teacher. Thank you. Okay, now you can go back. Okay, you can go back to the room. Yeah, the first. Mm -hmm. Hi, how are you doing? Hi, teacher. Hi. Sí, teacher, yo sinceramente no, no estaba muy concentrada en la explicación. Ah, ok, no ha entendido bien cómo se utilizan, entonces. Eh, eh, en la primera parte, solo vamos a, a ordenar uh -huh. con cuál va a las letras. Yes. Uh -huh. Ok. Y en la segunda parte vamos a escribirlas en letras. Uh -huh. Así es. That's correct. Solo cómo se lee la tercera uh -huh. parte. La van a leer. Uh -huh. Y la otra... Okay, the find the mice were after. Write the corresponding letter in the grid. Ahí solo tiene que contestar cada pregunta. Solo eso tiene que ser, contestar cada pregunta y luego ver cuál es la palabra que logra tener contestando cada pregunta. 
Así como la primera dice, what is the first letter? Sorry, what is the second letter of the word animal? ¿Cuál sería la respuesta? M. The second, N. La N. M. N. Uh -huh. Entonces ya tiene la primera. Al final va a lograr tener una palabra. Ah, ok. Ya Ajá. entendí. Ajá. Así que eso, eso es lo que van a hacer ahorita. Gracias. Ajá. Eh, do you have any other questions? Yo, Katia, no sé si tiene alguna duda. No. No. Ok, so I'm going to let you continue. Voy a dejarlas que continúen. Yo voy a ir a visitar a sus classmates. Ok. Ok, gracias. Sí, me puedo, no sé cómo Este. 30 es. 30. Uh, How are you guys doing? Is there anything I can help you with? Or not in this moment? Uh -huh. Just tell me. Yo sí, la segunda parte no. Ah, ok. It says write in letters. Tiene que escribir los números. Así como el, el second, ya lo escriben en, en letras. Okay. Teacher, I have a question. Uh -huh. For example, in, for example, in, in, in the number, in the number, Perry eliminates the letter Y. Terry. Yes. In, in the in number Terry, eliminate, eliminate the, the letter Y. The letter Y. Let me double check. I will send it in the chat. Uh, like that, yes. Change. Change. Why? Because I. I think it's correct. Uh -huh. I think I, uh -huh. Do you have more questions for me? No. No. And you, Alberto, more questions? No, teacher. No. Okay. Well, I'm going to let you continue. I'm going to visit another pair. Okay. okay. See you in a moment. Mm -hmm. Hi, Daisy. Hi, Sulma. Hi, How are you doing? Do you have questions or doubts? Um, um, mm -hmm. En la última, teacher, ¿qué vamos a hacer? ¿Cuál última? La última parte. La, sí, la, la número tres, la parte número tres. Donde dice parte tres. Tienen que contestar ah. cada pregunta. Por ejemplo, la primera dice, what's the second letter of the word animal? Mm. Y al final van a, a lograr ah. poner una palabra. Y esa es la ah. que ponen al final. Ah, ok. Gracias. Uh -huh. okay. Any questions? No questions. No. Just that. Okay. ¿En qué parte van ahorita? What are you doing in this moment? Right, right in, right in there. Uh, all right. Okay. All right. So I'll let you continue. I'll visit okay. you later. Bye. Hello, Rafa. Hi, Mario. Hello, teacher. How are you doing? Do you need help or have you finished? 
Oh, todavía no falta. La... What are you doing in this moment? Tercera. Part three. Ah, Teacher, okay. eh, en, la, en la parte tres, uh -huh. eh, solo es de practicar la lectura. ¿Cómo leería? Uh -huh. Yes. Correct. Okay. En part three, la que sí. se dice part three, de contestar cada pregunta. Hay otra parte. En la segunda ah, no página. La visto, la, en la segunda ah, página. Yes. Teacher, y en la, en la, ¿cómo se leen las fechas? Uh -huh. Los años siempre aplica la regla de leer de, de dos en dos uh -huh. los números. Uh -huh. okay. Yes. Igual allá vamos a, a confirmar todo, a chequear que todos tengamos lo, lo mismo, ¿verdad? Para, uh -huh. para que si hay algún error ahí se, se arregle. Uh -huh. okay. Any other questions? No sé si tienen no. alguna otra duda. No. Uh, no. Ok. Quizás en unos tres minutos termina. Maybe. Three or four minutes. Okay. Ok, voy a ir a ver cómo van los demás y si no, pues lo voy a tener que, que regresar antes. Bye. But, ok, I will let you continue. Okay. See you in a moment. Okay. Encontró la otra. Uh, hi, Rosy and Maricela. How are you doing? Uh, Hi, do you have questions? Eh, por el momento, en la segunda parte vamos. Mm -hmm. Ah, ok. ¿Todo va bien? ¿O les ha surgido alguna duda? Eh, no, ahorita vamos bien. Ah, ok. All right. Entonces la voy cualquier a dejar cosa, que continúen. Uh -huh. Sí, cualquier cosa le hablamos. Ok, sounds good. <laughs> See you later. Bye. 1914. There is another way to say it. Um, nine. 11. No, I, uh, on those cases, I use uh, 1914. Uh -huh. 1914. Yeah, so. Hi everyone, sorry to interrupt. I, I'm just I checking on you. Is there something I can help you with? Yeah, we are discussing how to pronounce the years. On the uh, case on the first one, I, I usually use uh, 2010 mm -hmm. to say it. Uh, however, on the second one, I yeah. use 1914 instead of saying uh, 1940. Uh -huh. I mean, um, what is the second way to say it? I don't remember to be really on. Well, for those ones, there's no second way. There's just one way. You have to break it into in two amounts 1914 um, but mm -hmm. from 2000 and on forward you have two possibilities you can say 2010 or 2010 and break it in two okay okay uh -huh. that, that's what i uh, what i what i remember it that after uh -huh. 2000 uh, we should we can use there are 2010, two options Yeah, but uh, before that we I we use 1914, so mm -hmm. saying on two two numbers. Yes. Mm -hmm. On the year. Okay. Okay. Got okay. It. So I'm going to let you continue, and and later when we get to the main room, we double check. We double check that we all have the same same information. Okay. Great. All right. See you. See you in about four minutes. Okay, in about okay. four minutes, we will return. Okay, bye. <laughs> Hi, Jenny. Está por ahí.
Hi Mario, did you finish? ¿Lograron terminar Mario? No. No, ¿en qué parte se quedaron? Bueno, yo me quedé en la última parte. Eh, ¿Y Rafa? Él sí, sí lo va a terminar. Tengo problemas ah. yo aquí técnico. ¿Y eso? ¿Con el wifi, con el internet o con qué? No, con... Es que como solo eran imágenes, sí se me dificultó bastante hoy estar la vi. Ah, yes, sorry. Sí, es cierto. Por eso les costó no más escribir ahí con, con ellas. Ok, sí. pero aquí vamos a terminar juntos. Vamos a terminar juntos y vemos las respuestas. Ok. Ok, okay welcome back. So, we are going to check the answers together. If you have questions, please let me know, okay? Give me one, one moment. Okay. So we will start with part number one. ¿Quiénes son los que sí pueden anotar? Who has the, the annotation tool? Nelson, Nelson, can you, René? Maricela, Nehemias, you can, right? Okay, yes. so let's start with Maricela first. Please match it. Uh, this one here. Yes. Aha, uh -huh. okay, thank you. Nemias, continue with the next one. Ajá, uh -huh. ok, thank you. Katia, continue, Katia. Where is that one? Oh my God. Ok, let me, let me erase it for you. And then you can try again. Thank you. Right. Okay, Katia, try again. And then Vladimir, can you go with the next one, number four? Okay, okay, Katia, I understand. The third. Esther, Vladimir. Uh -huh. Okay. Thank you. Let's continue with Rafa. Continue, Rafa. With the next one. Uh -huh. Yes. Okay. The 27. 27. Okay. Let's continue with Rina. Can you continue? No sé si sabe escribir acá, Rina. Yes. Uh huh. Correct. There it is. Okay. Thank you. Let's see. Let me check. Rene, can you continue with the next one, please? Uh, that one is well. Is the last one? I mean, is the the, the seventeen? Mm, the previous one. Oh, the previous one. Oh. Is the eighteen eight uh, the eighteen eight eighty eight? Uh huh. The one that is over here. Okay. Thank you, yeah. Nelson. What is the last one? It is a little bit difficult sometimes. And now you're going to try. You can use the chat for the next one, or you can do it on the computer. But Nelson, I think you're trying to, to go up. Uh -huh. Okay, Nelson. But I understand, 17th, right? The one that you see on the superior side, <laughs> like here. Okay, <laughs> let's write the numbers. Write the numbers, Alberto. Second, can you send it by chat? O si puede, lo pone en, en el documento, Alberto. 
however you want to. In the chat or, or ahí in in a in a document. Okay, now let me see. Daisy, 11, how do you write it? 11, Daisy. Teacher, podemos mandar la captura, la imagen. Um, al, al grupo, a donde? Al grupo, o solamente. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Yes, you can send it there. Okay, so here we have it. Second, there it is. Okay, Daisy, you continue with the next one. And then Zulma, 18. Zulma, thank you, Daisy, it is correct. Okay. Okay, teacher, in the chat, se lo voy a poner porque yeah. soy desde... Okay, I will check it there. And let's see, Mario, 23rd, how do you write it? SDI, Mario, how do you write it? Mario, are you there? Eh, ah, ok. Uh -huh. Lo que íbamos a hacer era escribirlo, uh -huh. ¿verdad? Yes, vamos con 23rd, Mario. Entonces ahorita le, le dicto las letras o cómo? Eh, you can send it in the chat. Envíalo ah, ah. en el chat, Mario. Yo lo leo ahí. Ok, let's continue with... Let me see... Rosy. Rosy 17, please. Send it by chat. Okay. Lo pone acá en, en el documento. All right, and let's go with Katia. Katia number six, the six. Please send it by chat, group, however you want to. And then Nelson Alberto, Nelson Alberto, 15. Let me see. Okay, Nemias. Thank you. Nemias, can you help us with number 15? Can you try to type it here? or you can do it on the chat. Okay, thank you, Katia, that one is correct. René, the 30th, please type it or send it in the chat. And then 25th, how do you work with that one, Rina? No sé si lo acaba de mandar, Rina, no. 25th, ah, aunque usted no puede utilizar el teclado, ¿verdad? Como no, hoy estoy con el teléfono. Ah, ok. Ahí. Miren el chat. Please, eh, Ajá, quiero ver la escritura. El 25, ¿verdad? Yes, el último. Ok. Yes. And we can, we can make sure that we all have the, the same. Thirteen. Ok. ¿Cuál estaba escribiendo, Mario? El 23. Que allí dice 13, 13. Sorry, creo ¿O que cuál me era? Quedé. Ajá. Ya ni me acuerdo cuál era el suyo. El 23 era el cierto. Ah, 20, ok, 23. Envíemelo ahí de nuevo. Vamos a, a volver a revisar. Ok, en yes, René. It is correct. Solo me falta Rina en Mario. Ahorita. Uh -huh. Ok. I'm going to clear the screen. And I will go, go down. I'm going to scroll down. Let's listen to the way we read the dates. Ok. We will start with Rafa. Okay, Rafa, number one. Can you read the date? Friday, uh, fear, fear, five, 
5 May 2010. 2010. Mm -hmm. The other possibility can be 2010. But 2010 is also okay. It is correct. Okay, Rafa, thank you. And then let's continue with Maricela, number two. Teacher, on mm -hmm. the question, um, no era ponerle primero las, el mes, después day, después fecha y después el año. No, only to read it, solo de leerlo. Mm -hmm. Entonces sería Saturday, um, 11, the 11th, July, July. And separate, se me olvidado el nombre. separate this, 19, and then you're... 1914, 1914, mm -hmm. that's correct, okay, thank you, Maricela. Okay. Rosy, number three. Wednesday, 1st February, 20... 21st, or oh, are you a... 21. 21, okay. Mm -hmm. I see about 21. Okay, thank you, Rosie. And let's continue with Katia. Number four, Katia. Sería Sunday, mm -hmm. um, 9th, mm -hmm. December, 1685. Yes. Correct. Okay, now the last part, the last part that we have here. It says find the mystery word. Okay, we start with Alberto. What is the second letter of the word animal? It's the letter N. Letter N, yes, that's the one. Now, Vladimir, what's the first letter of the word university? Um, this is um, uh, U. 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 Uh -huh. That's the one. Sulma, what's the third letter of the word game? What's the third letter, Sulma? M. 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 Yes, everyone. Uh huh. Thank you, Sulma. Now let's me, let me check here. Mario, what's the first letter of the word beautiful? Sorry, teacher, es la parte que le dije que no completé. Okay, but what do you think? What's the first letter of the word beautiful? ¿Entiendes la pregunta? What is the first letter of the la word? Of B. the word beautiful. Ajá, uh -huh, it's letter B. That's the one. Nehemias, what's the fifth letter of the word garden? E. Letter E, yes. And Rene, what's the eighth letter of the word November? It's R. It's R. Uh -huh. And the mystery word is number. Number. Correct. Number. If you had that, congratulations, because that's the way it goes. Do you have questions? Do you have questions to ask about the document? Something that is not... Mm -hmm. Katia? Mm -hmm. What is your una... question? Tell me. Siempre colocaríamos como the second, o solo podemos decir second. It is optional. You have the opportunity of choosing. If you want to, you can say the on the 22nd, or you can say on 
Well, if you say the month, uh, is not, it's optional. But if you only say Monday, try to use the, on Monday the 21st. Uh -huh. Y si okay. solo dices el día, y si, utilízalo, on the 22nd. Okay. Mm -hmm. okay, gracias. Yes. Okay, so we will continue here. It says, write the name of one of the months in the calendar and think of three events and write the dates. We are not going to use this calendar. You can use your, you can use the chat or the notebook. You have to think of three events and write the dates for them. I'll give you an example. This is one, an English class on Tuesday, August the 9th. Or in the case of Vladimir, he can say on September 23rd, 23rd, I have a wedding. Okay, three events that you have. Tres eventos que ustedes tengan. And write the date. Then you can send it by chat or on the notebook. Teacher, tell me. Um, da, yo la estoy haciendo así. No sé si me puede corregir uh -huh. si está o si está bien. Um, on September five five fifty fifty, verdad? Sí. Ajá. Um, sería I have celebration birthday my sister. Ah, okay. I'm going to change, modify something. I have okay. my sister's mm -hmm. birthday. Use the possessive, the S, the apostrophe and the S. <clears throat> it's on the chat. I have I my sir sister's birthday. Birthday. So on September 5th, Fifth. Five, six. I have my sister birthday. Solamente sí. Uh -huh. Okay. And yeah. the other, or the other sería on um, September um, 20, 21? 21st. 21st. I had go to medic. I have a medical appointment. Medical appointment. Medic. Appointment. I I sent it on the chat. Ah, okay, ya le vi. Va, perfect uh -huh. teacher. Um, ahorita solo eso he pensado. <laughs> You're missing one. One more and that's it. Okay. Okay, thank you. You're welcome. Is there anybody else ready? 
Me las pueden enviar al grupo if you want to, or you can say it. Who is ready? Okay, let's see. Teacher, only three. Alberto. Yes, only three, because we still have another activity, one more activity. Ready? I send, I send by, type, by, by chat. Or read them, read them, Nelson, please. On September 24th, I have a delicious dinner with my family. Mm -hmm. On July 3rd, I have the celebration, the celebration of my son. On December 3rd, I eat bread with chicken. Okay, thank you. Just the one about your son, is that a birthday celebration? Graduation? Yes. Okay, no, so you can say... But it's your, it's, it's his, it's his uh, birthday. Okay, you can even say, it's my um, son's birthday. Son's birthday. In vez de oh, celebration sí. of my son, son's Good. birthday. Mm -hmm. Okay. Okay. Thank you, Nelson. Let me oh, see. The, uh -huh. oh, yes, Marisa. Oh, there's some oh, there sample. Uh, on September 28, um, I had a vaccination with my son. Ah, okay. My son's vaccine. Or you can say my son um, is going mm. to get vaccinated. Siempre sería on September 28th, I go to. My son is getting vaccinated. Solo que ahí estamos utilizando... Porque usted quiere decir que él se va a vacunar, ¿verdad? Ajá. ¿Ah? Ajá, entonces tiene que ser un, en otro tiempo. Si no, o, solo o que lo, fuera... O, o lo cambio. Uh -huh. O lo cambio como llevar, llevarlo a, a vacunarse. Pero también va a ser futuro. Ah, sí, es cierto. Uh -huh. Mejor cambio la oración. I have to go to... I have to go to the hospital. Ah, with my son. Mañana vamos a ver futuro, así que ya mañana lo va a poder escribir. Okay. Okay. <laughs> so I'm going to read the messages. I will read the messages that are on the chat and I will give you feedback. Okay. Voy a leer en unos minutos todos los que han enviado en el chat. Por ahorita les voy a dar la última asignación, the last assignment of the class. Eh, si no las han mandado, mándelos también ahí en el grupo de WhatsApp. And I will read it. The last activity is a conversation, okay, about activities that you do on a holiday. You have to create a conversation about activities you do on a holiday, okay? Van a crear una pequeña conversación con actividades que ustedes suelen hacer en algún holiday. It could be birthdays, Christmas Eve, New Year's Eve, Valentine's Day. Uh, what else do we have? Independence Day. Okay, van a hacer una conversation about that. Okay, one, one or two minutes, the conversation duration, okay? Do you have a question? Tienen alguna duda sobre esa parte? About the conversation? Mm -hmm. tengo una. Yes. ¿Esa la vamos a hacer en pareja o yes. es individual? No, en parejas, en vivo y en directo. I will okay. send you to a place to prepare it. Les voy a enviar a un lugar. You have five minutes, five minutes, okay, to come back. So I'm going to open the room. You are going to work with the same person you were working with. 
Marisela, Rosie, and Jani, and Nehemiah, Nelson, and, and Rene, you are going to work in three. Five minutes, five minutes, and you're back. Oh, and Marce, Marce, I'm going to assign you to a group because you were not here. You are going to work with, let me see, Marce, with Katia, Katia and Rina. Okay, I will send you to the, the, to the group. Just accept the invitation. Uh, did you receive the invitation? No, Daisy. No, verdad, no la recibió. Creo que. Ok, let me see. La voy a enviar con Zulma. Ok.
Hi, Rina. ¿Lograron terminar? Welcome back, Mario. ¿Qué tal estuvo la conversation? Fácil, ¿verdad? Easy. No sé, pero de un diálogo estábamos. Ok, mañana creo que llevamos otro, no me recuerdo bien el programa. But yes, we will have some conversations. Ok, so let's wait a moment and we will start. If not, try to improvise. Mm -hmm. Try to improvise if necessary. Okay, welcome back. I hope you're ready. We will start with Nelson and Vladimir. So, ready, Nelson, Vladimir? I'm going to give you the spotlight. Vladimir and Nelson, Alberto. Hold on. Okay, we hear you. Yeah. Este, eh, we are talking with Nelson eh, the what is favorite day and mm -hmm. why. Okay. And, eh, your first, Nelson, what is your favorite day? <laughs> yes. uh, what is I your favorite? Uh -huh. Yeah, I think he doesn't hear you. Try to try to repeat. What is your favorite day? Teacher, if necessary, I uh, answer. answer uh -huh. Yes, it is a conversation. Ah, uh -huh. Uh -huh. it's okay. Come on, one more, uh, one more time. <laughs> Hello, Vladimir. Hi, Nelson. Hi. <laughs> Sorry, I don't this. Yes. Tell me, what about you? What is your uh, day very important? Ah, uh, in, in my case, uh, I have two uh, important days. One is my uh, anniversary uh, with because I have a uh, five years with my wife and second day very important is my birthday this is August um, 19 and in this is day um, I have a big celebration with my my family and friends. This is a big party. Mm -hmm. you? Yeah. For example, I have a day very important in my life. The first is in the, on July 1st, I have my son's birthday. Today is the is a Friday. I have, for example, a, a steak. Yeah. I have bread with chicken, I have cake, I I have candy, uh, whatever. So in my second my second date is very important is the is um December 24th. I have a delicious dinner family. Uh, I celebrate I celebrate in the night. I eat uh, for example in I have uh, I have uh, a dish and then my table and the steak, rice and salad and a little bitter. And, uh, and the next uh, day important is on September 10th, third years, I eat bread with chicken in this final years. 
that's all. Okay, yes, that's I think all. that's good enough. Okay, thank you, Vladimir, and thank you, Nelson. Very good conversation. You're and welcome. it was very natural. I can see that you didn't have something written. Lo hicieron a lo natural, right? So that's that's great. Let's continue with Nehemiah, Nelson, and Rene. I can't give you the spotlight because there are three of you, <laughs> but we will listen to you carefully. So yes, Nehemiah, Nelson, and Rene, please continue. Uh, well, in our case, we were talking about uh, Dia de los Muertos on October Day 2nd. of the Dead. Mm -hmm. uh -huh. That's right. Um, we, we most likely try to, to, to explain what we do that day. Uh, for example, it's very common on... on but sorry, Rene, to interrupt you. But can you try to have the conversation? Ah, to have the uh -huh. conversation with yes. them. Sure. Uh -huh. okay. Give me a second. Uh, okay, okay, guys. Uh, what are you doing in November 2nd? I usually work on that day. <laughs> so, uh, like I said before, um, I don't like this uh, to, to go to the cemetery. cemetery. Yeah, oh, yeah, that's right. I don't like to go there. So I think that I have more than ten years. That was the last time that I got to visit the grave of my my mm. grandfather. And usually that days I just spend the time either with my family or work. That's what I do. Okay. Uh, and you? And what do you do? And you, Nelson? What about you? Uh, uh, I, I, I usually am um, the red and... and in November, on November second, is is we meet the family. We meet the family. With the family and only. Do you my family? Join with your family to eat something, or or you spend maybe your day talking about the, the the people that is no longer with us, because that is something that they usually the family do. Um, remember that that the the, the, the the persons that pass away. So. That, that is something that usually my family do that they they join together they eat something and then they they tell histories about uh, what they remember about that 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 person i don't know if you do the same with your family that, that you join together you start to talking about the person that is no longer here um, okay, I think I'm going to stop you, <laughs> but thank you, thank you, uh, Rene, uh, Mia, and Nelson. So, okay, we will try tomorrow. Okay, tomorrow we will try. Vamos a, a seguir porque no logramos tener el tiempo necesario y traten de ordenar sus ideas, verdad? Traten de utilizar la gramática que estamos aprendiendo, ¿verdad? So, si estamos con simple present, traten de hacerlo con, con simple present, más que todo. But, very good. Okay, thank you. I'm going to take the attendance. Okay, I'm going to take the attendance and then we, we will stay. Let me see. Let me check here whose turn is it today. Um... I don't remember. 
Okay, Rafa, Rafa Barrientos. Can you stay? Uh -huh. Sí, se va a poder quedar, Rafa, para su yes. sesión today. Ah, okay. So I'll take the attendance really quick. Daisy Mezquita, Doris Guevara, Iris Joana, Jennifer Marcela. Present. Thank you, Jose Mario. Present. Katia Gabriela. Present. Lisette del Carmen, Maricela del Carmen. Present. Ninet Rivera. Nehemías Regalo. Present. Okay, thank you. Nelson Alberto. Nelson René. Present. Thank Present. You. Rafa Valiento. Present. Right, thank you. René Guardado. Rin. Present. Okay, thank you. Rina Espinosa. Present, teacher. Thank you. Vladimir Rodas. Present. Yamira Lisset. En Zulma Lorena. Teacher, a mí no me dijo. No. Ok, Rosy. Rosy Meléndez. Yes. Ok. <laughs> Sorry, Rosy. Ok, guys, well, thank you for coming to the class. We will stop here tomorrow. We, we continue, ok, with this activity. So, okay. have a nice day. Well, enjoy the rest of it. Sweet dreams. Bye bye, everyone. Sweet dreams. Dream. See bye you bye. guys. Bye bye. See you tomorrow. See you. And Rene, are you? Oh, okay, Rene just left. <laughs> okay, one second. Que les costó un poquito con la conversation al final. <laughs> Sí, sí pero era, ajá, era porque René tiene como, ya sabe, por lo, lo que veo, ¿verdad? Ya tiene bastante conocimiento. Sí. Entonces, como empezó a utilizar diferentes tiempos, fue como una conversación muy avanzada, por decirlo así. Sí. Entonces ya sí. eso fue lo que desequilibró la conversación. <risa> por eso yo mejor sí, ya... Es que... ajá. Ya me metí Yo creo en... que él ya trabaja en un call center o algo así. Ah, no se fue a preguntar. Ajá. Sí. Ajá. Entonces, él tiene estuvo que... en el grupo. Ajá. Sí, pero sí, siento de que. Sabe bastante. Ajá, ya sabe bastante. Entonces, por eso los demás siento que se quedaron en un rato como. Ah, ok. Pero mañana Algo perdido. vamos a, a ver eso para que todo, ¿verdad? Logren. Estar siempre en lo mismo. Okay, Rafa, sorry. Sí. So, how can I help you? Is there something that you find difficult? ¿Hay algo que quisiera reforzar o que le esté costando más? ¿O algo fuera eh, de, de la clase que necesite ayuda? Pues, eh, la verdad, ahorita no, cuando yo veo ya los ejemplos, los ejercicios, sí puedo comprender. Tal vez lo que me cuesta un poquito más es ir armando una pequeña conversación como, como lo que estábamos haciendo ahorita. Uh -huh. en, en el, no sé eh, no, si pudiera darme alguna idea de que ver algunos videos o, o algo para poder ir mejorando eso. Eh, no sé qué, qué pudiera hacer. Uh -huh. okay. Pues la conversación es una de las partes más difíciles de aprender otro idioma. Porque cuando uno ya platica, ya no tiene uno mucho tiempo de pensar, por así decirlo, ¿verdad? Cuando ustedes hacen ejercicios sí. o es una pregunta directa, ya como que uno ya, ya sabe la estructura, ¿verdad? Pero cuando uh -huh. uno va a conversar, ya tiene que mezclar diferentes cosas, ¿verdad? Ya ir como llevando una secuencia de ideas. Uh -huh. Aquí, Rafa... Lo mejor que uno puede hacer para hablarlo más es tener conversaciones. Entonces siento de que ahí va a ser mi trabajo eh, poner más conversations dentro de las clases uh -huh. para que ustedes vayan agarrando práctica ya en, en una conversación. Y quizás porque vamos comenzando a darles más tiempo, ¿verdad? Para que vayan pensando en cómo decirlo y qué decir. Porque sí, para conversation, Rafa, lo que yo les recomiendo es que 
que platique, que converse, pero no sé si tiene Ajá. amigos o familiares con los que pueda tratar de platicar. Como no, hay un compañero de trabajo que creo que podría. Ah, ok. Si se puede, puede, eso es lo que se recomienda, que si uno quiere Ajá. tener más speaking, más conversación, tiene que conversar. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Así que no hay algo así como... Sí. Podríamos, si usted quiere, tratar sí, de, de hacer eso ahorita. Podemos tratar de platicar okay. un ratito para practicar. Pero okay. sí, un, algo, otra sugerencia ahorita no se me viene más que esa, meramente. Uh -huh. Ok, so let's try to do it. So, ok. Hello, Rafa. How are you today? I have a nice today. You had a nice day. Okay. What is your favorite holiday? What is your favorite holiday? My favorite day is Sunday. And holiday, the día festivo? Ah, it's the día festivo. Uh -huh. uh, is, for example, is and twenty fourth in December. December twenty fourth. Okay. 24th. Ask me something, okay. Rafa. Ask me something up to continue the conversation. Trate ahora de usted decirme algo. Preguntarme algo. Okay. As um I like a new look in the hair. Okay, thank oh, you. Yeah. Thank you very much. Yeah, I have okay. curly, curly hair. Mm -hmm. And, um, and I, how I is... Don't know. Mm -hmm. I don't know, es como yo no sabía. I didn't. I didn't. I didn't. Uh, your hair is rizos. Uh, curly. 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 Yes. Okay. I usually I usually have a ponytail most of the time. That's that's why you don't see it very often. But this this is my my natural hair. <laughs> that's my <laughs> natural hair. And do you have children, Rafa? Yes, I I have one son. One son. Only one. Yes. Only one. How old is your son? Um, nine, nine years old. Nine years old, wow. How old are you, Rafa? How I'm old sorry. are you? Um, I'm four, fourth. 40. 40? 40. Really? 40 years old. You look younger. Like if you were <laughs> 32, 33. So that's nice. Really? <laughs> uh -huh. How old do you think I am? What do you think it's my age? Um, Try to guess. Let's 20, see. 26. Okay, so yes, 20, 28, 28, 28. so you were very close, oh. <laughs> uh -huh, so you were very close. Next year, I'm turning 29, so one more year and I'll be 30, 30 years old. So yeah, for me, it's a big impact in this moment, right, because I'm 20, <laughs> so I am, I am, I don't know, maybe... <laughs> what will be the word but i don't want to be 30 <laughs> but there's nothing i can do nah. so but um, it's it's life right we have to continue <laughs> and that is what happens you live in aguachapan right yes and are yes. you in aguachapan in this moment yes are, okay. do you work in aguachapan no, I work in Santa Ana. 
In Santa Ana. Yes. Ah, okay. Uh -huh. Right. Do you travel to Santa Ana or do you yes. work from home? Yes, every day. You travel to Santa Ana every day. Every ah, day. okay. I also live in Aguachapán. You? Mm -hmm. I live in Aguachapán oh. too. So we live very oh. close. <laughs> yes. Somos, uh, vecinos, casi. Yes, I live in Las Chinamas, in my case. So oh. it's not in the city, <laughs> but away. I live uh -huh. in Aguachapán two years ago, but we moved. We move and now I live here. Now, now you don't live in yes yes i live no, no yes no in this moment in las chinamas not in aguachapan two oh, okay. years ago i moved to las chinamas oh, okay uh-huh all my oh, life okay. i lived in, in why, las why in, move? my family my family decided to to change and we oh, got a house here so we we move but it's very calm it's very calm. I, I like it. Just very hot, very hot sometimes, but I I have adapted. Okay, Rafa, so you can see, you okay. you can try to. Ya tuvimos una, una pequeña conversación. Sí. Se puede, pero sí, práctica. Práctica es la que más se okay. necesita, Rafa. Para mañana creo que tengo más, tenemos una conversation también. Pero voy a tratar de implementar más, ¿verdad? Para que puedan sí. dialogar, que es lo que ustedes también buscan, ¿verdad? Poder hablarlo. Así que, Rafa, okay. creo que Thank nos you. vamos a quedar por acá. Do you have any questions before we go? No, I don't. No. Ok, no. Rafa. So, okay. I'll see you tomorrow in that case. Sweet okay. dreams. See you tomorrow. See you. Good Bye. night.